Hey there scientific brilliant people, how are you today? Today I am going to discuss a numerical and it is also a theory related to the polarization of light. So the theory states that when an unpolarized light of intensity say I0 and this is an unpolarized light when it falls on the polarizer the light definitely becomes polarized but the intensity reduces to half so becomes I0 by 2 and the light comes out as polarized light and this light is an unpolarized light so unpolarized light falls on the polarizer 50% reduction in the intensity and the light becomes polarized now this is called Malus law Malus law we usually apply when a polarized light falls at some angle with respect to the optic axis of the polarizer and if you want to know more about the Malus law the link is given in the description so this in Malus law this is the intensity of light falling on the polarizer and this is the intensity of light coming out of the polarizer so if I give you a very short overview of the problem if this is the tourmaline crystal and this is the optic axis in unpolarized light you will find this vector also you will find this vector also you will find this vector also you will find vectors oriented in all directions so the problem is that what should we put instead of theta because theta is the angle between the electric field vector and the optic axis and the here electric field vectors are oriented at 0 degree 1 degree 2 degree 90 degree 95 degree 180 degree 270 degree at all angles so what we ideally have to do is we have to substitute all angles from 0 to 360 and add all the intensities but that becomes very difficult so instead of that we have to use mathematics smart work and we can apply the integration because integration is a type of addition so people uh, just I would like to give a small example that if I come to a class of 30 students and if I ask the weight of a student then there are 30 different answers I am going to get so it's very difficult for me to memorize all those 30 answers so what I will do is I will add those answers divided by 30 and I will remember only the average weight of the student so when we are dealing with multiple numbers you have to find the average value so here also we are going to find out the average value of intensity because we have multiple angles from 0 to 360 degree so any function say any function ft if you want to find its average average is shown by these brackets then the formula in mathematics states that integration of ft dt upon integration of dt is the value which is the average value now here it this function is not a function of time so fine so we will use f theta is equal to integration of f theta d theta upon integration of d theta now instead of this f theta i am going to use this intensity equation i so average intensity would be equal to integration of i0 cos square theta this is my f theta d theta upon integration of d theta now the limit of the angle has to be substituted so i am going to use 0 to 2 pi because 2 pi corresponds to 360 degrees so 0 to 2 pi and why am i doing that because the vectors are oriented from 0 degree to all angles again back to 360 degrees in unpolarized light you will find all the angles so now let's solve this and i0 comes out and integration of d theta is theta so at the bottom in the denominator you will find this so if i substitute this it will be 2 pi minus 0 so it will be 2 pi so from the top i0 upon 2 pi I am going to pull it outside so I0 from the top divided by 2 pi now integration of 0 to 2 pi since I am I, I have already solved the denominator so I need not to uh, remember this again this 2 pi is already pulled outside and this is cos square theta 
d theta. Now cos square theta can be written as this i0 by 2 pi like this cos square theta can be written as 1 plus cos 2 theta upon 2 integration sign I have forgotten like this again d theta from 0 to 2 pi. Now what happens people this 2 comes out so it becomes i0 by 4 pi i0 by 4 pi because this 2 in the denominator is going to multiply it by 2 pi. Now integration let us put it in the bracket integration of 1 d theta so that is d theta from 0 to 2 pi plus again integration of cos 2 theta d theta from 0 to 2 pi. Now people we need not to solve this we know that the cos function from 0 to 2 pi value is going to be added to 0. So cos graph is something like this and this is 0 this is 2 pi so if you sum up all the answers the answer is going to be 0 if you want you can solve this by putting this value assigned to theta by 2 and again putting the values answer is going to get 0 so this turns out to be 0 and if I substitute the value over here it is i 0 by 4 pi then d theta is theta 0 to 2 pi and if I substitute the value I get i0 by 4 pi into 2 pi so my answer is i0 by 2. So did you get this people? So my final answer is i0 by 2 and what is i0? i0 was the intensity of unpolarized light falling on the polarizer and i0 by 2 is the intensity of transmitted polarized light. So very important conclusion when an unpolarized light falls on a polarizer 50% of the light gets reduced. So that is why we prefer to wear the polarized spectacles when we go out in the sun in the afternoon because when you directly look at the sun or when you are in an intense sunlight, the sunlight is a beam of light which is unpolarized. So when it passes through the spectacle, the polarized spectacle, 50 percent of the glare gets cut off. We use this principle in photography also. So people thank you for watching the video. If you have any doubts, please do comment in the comment section.